cavitation in liquid can be observed in the laboratory using a cavitation apparatus. Cavitation is sudden or instantaneous evaporation of fluid or liquid due to pressure drop below its vapor pressure. So for water, the vapor pressure at room temperature that is 25 degrees centigrade is approximately 23.8 millimeter of mercury which in other units are as follows in kilopascal it is 3.17 kilopascal or in case of atmospheric pressure it is 0 0.03 atm cavitation is achieved in the laboratory setup by using a venturi tube or a venturi meter so a venturi meter is just a pipe section where the mid portion is reduced in diameter which is also called the throat and based on Bernoulli's equation we can say that as velocity increases pressure will decrease and in case of a venturi meter velocity at the throat section increases as it has to pass through a smaller cross sectional area and therefore the pressure must decrease because the ultimate the final summation of all the heads pressure head velocity head and datum head must remain constant so and if it is kept at horizontal position then z1 and z2 that is the datum heads on both sides will be equal so it will be cancelled out and if velocity increases then for the sum to remain constant pressure must decrease that is this term must decrease and it can decrease only by reducing the pressure so in the cavitation apparatus we have this kind of a setup where a reservoir is filled with water from which a pump carries water into uh, through a pipe in this pipe we attach a venturi meter tube so this venturi meter is fitted with two pressure gauges one will measure the pressure at the main body section this section and another one will measure the pressure at the throat section and the water again goes back to the reservoir if required we can measure the discharge in this discharge measuring tank and we can control the flow by operating this valve or this valve and when the flow is very high the velocity at this point will be very high and we may see the cavitation at a certain value of discharge so what we'll do is we'll let water flow through this and velocity at the throat section will increase and therefore pressure will decrease and cavitation will occur at the throat section when pressure drops below the vapor pressure and pressure at that section will be measured using this pressure gauge and we'll verify whether the pressure at measured by this gauge is actually less than the paper pressure and if it is so then we'll say that the cavitation is verified that is we have already seen it through our eye observation and based on the calculation of pressure also we are getting the same result that cavitation should occur